All right, we're in the middle of the Florida swamp and this place is absolutely wild. It's loaded with venomous snakes, non-venomous snakes, wild hogs, Osceola turkeys, deer, and a lot more wildlife. But today we're actually gonna try to find a water moccasin or also known as cottonmouth. It's the perfect environment for them. It's wet, nasty, humid, and it uh, seems like the nastier the better for these snakes. So let's see if we can find one. It shouldn't be too hard. these mushrooms on this tree. That's cool. Look at that, wow. It's like an old, some kind of old dead tree. Look at these mushrooms, I've never seen mushrooms like this growing off of it, huge. It's really cool. See, there's lots and lots of frogs. And that's a, a huge food source for water moccasin is frogs. Look under this hollow log right there. big huge worm under there. Look at the size of that earthworm. Oh, he's squiggly. Not a snake, but... Oh, look at this. Oh, see how fast he goes. Oh. We've been looking for a water moccasin. And uh, we found one, this is a juvenile, it's a old Bud Light bottle. But um, this is a real pretty juvenile water moccasin. And this snake looks a lot different than an adult water moccasin. As they get older, they kind of lose that, um, they lose that, that pattern. So when they're born, let's see if I can get him out before you guys can get a look at him here. Okay, let's see if I can get him here, there we go. So they kind of lose that pattern as they get older. They get, uh, they get darker. And you can see how he's almost kind of camouflaged. He's got that camouflage pattern. Real pretty snake. It's pouring down rain, it just started raining. It's a beautiful water box. So you see all these markings? And actually you can see on the tip of his tail, he's got that lime green tail. And he is just in perfect strike mode right now. So there's a lot of misconceptions about baby snakes, baby venomous snakes. So snakes venom is actually very precious to them. So it helps them break down and digest their food. And so it's very valuable and precious to them. So a young juvenile snake like this, when he strikes you, most of the time, he doesn't have the sense yet to retain that venom. So if he were to strike you, more than likely he would let everything he's got go into you. An adult snake, um, a lot of times they will give you what's called a dry bite. It's more of a defense like back away, you know, and they want to retain that venom and they're only going to release that venom if they have to. But a snake like this is very, very dangerous, very beautiful. And you can see that camouflage pattern. As he grows larger, he will darken and he'll get a darker, more of a chocolate brown color. Right now he's got that camouflage and they use that for defense from predators, it keeps them hidden. And we barely spotted this guy. He blends in. We're in the middle of the Florida swamp. We've been looking for a water moccasin and uh, we've got a beautiful juvenile here. I'm gonna go ahead and just reposition my, there we go. Beautiful. And it's pouring down rain here, but this is the reality of, of the Florida swamp. This is what makes Florida, Florida. We're in a subtropical rainforest. Water moccasins are a member of the pit viper family. The easiest way to identify them, obviously they have that triangular shaped head, but banded water snakes will actually uh, flatten out their head as well. So there's a lot of lot of times people mistake banded water snakes for water moccasins and they kill the uh, the non-venomous water snakes. But these water moccasins, they have, a, they have a bar right across the side of their face. And most people don't want to get close enough to see that bar. And uh, if you do see one of these, you just want to back away. Don't mess with it. Um, I do know several people that have actually been bitten by water moccasins. I've known one lady almost died about three years ago locally where we live here and a friend of mine's niece did die when she was 17 from a water moccasin bite. Let me reposition here very carefully. She was doing laundry in her garage and she pulled the clothes out of the dryer, put them in the hamper, garage door was open. It was a cooler day, she went inside for a while, came back out, grabbed the hamper full of clothes, brought it inside, and what she didn't know was that a water moccasin had nestled inside those clothes. And she reached in to grab those clothes, those warm clothes, and uh, she got bit and she lived for a couple days and she ended up dying um, from a water moccasin bite. So 
They can be very, very deadly. You don't want to mess with them. Most people get bit trying to kill um, water moccasins. Best thing is just to leave them alone. I'm a professional. I know how to read the behavior of a snake and this is still not a, a safe practice. My hand is within his strike zone right now. So I still want to be very, very, very careful. This is not a safe practice, but I, like I said, I'm a professional. I've been doing this my whole life. So I'm going to go ahead and let him go. And let him on his way in the Florida swamp here. There he goes. Pretty wild. <laughs>